Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to our service of evening prayer, this time from the Society of St. John the Evangelist Monastery uh, Garden. Um, it's a silent monastery, so I can't be inside filming this, and unfortunately, uh, with Memorial Drive right behind me, it might be a little bit loud, but uh, I wanted to do evening prayer for you uh, from the monastery. We pray for the brothers every time we do evening prayer, so I want to do it from here. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit different. I don't have all the tools that I normally have, and I hope that you can hear me. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of Him. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things we ought, which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises. Declare to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your name. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. And now we say together our Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, and the house of Jacob from among the people of a foreign tongue, Judah was God's sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you were driven back. You mountains that you skipped like rams, and you little hills like young sheep. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the hard rock into a pool of water, and the flint stone into a springing well. Glory to the to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, beginning with the 15th chapter, the 36th verse. And after some days, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us return to visit the brothers in every city where we proclaim the word of the Lord and see how they are. Now Barnabas wanted to take with them John, called Mark. But Paul thought best not to take with them one who had withdrawn from them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. And there arose a sharp disagreement so that they separated from each other. Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and departed, having been commended by the brothers to the grace of the Lord. And he went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. Paul also came to Derbe and to Lystra. A disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brothers at Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those places, 
for all that for they all knew that his father was a Greek. And as they went on their way through the cities, they delivered to them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and they increased in numbers daily. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm getting lots of competition today. Uh, so, um, there's this interesting story of Paul and Barnabas going their separate ways because uh, Barnabas wanted to take John Mark and Paul didn't want to. So they go their separate ways and then there's this interesting story when Paul goes on and finds out about Timothy. Uh, Timothy is, uh, his mother's Jewish, but his father's Greek, and obviously he's not been circumcised. And so Paul wants him to come with him and he circumcises him. Now that takes commitment, adult circumcision. When I think about uh, commitment, I think about the brothers who are here. Um, Timothy had to make a big commitment to join Paul. But the brothers here, each one of them, have given their lives uh, to this place, to the ministry to which they are called, to lives of service and prayer, to lives of contemplation, to lives which are about giving of themselves to others. Um, they do just as much as Timothy did in, in all of their giving um, to us, to all of us who hear their words of wisdom and who are um, touched and changed by their lives of service. I'm so grateful to be here among them and uh, to see them and to pray with them. Uh, pray with them uh, four or five times a day while I'm here at this monastery. But you know, I'm also grateful to Barnabas because uh, I'm grateful that Barnabas took John Mark. I know John Mark um, sort of went AWOL for a time and, and so Paul didn't want to take him. But I'm so uh, thankful that Barnabas was of a forgiving sort and uh, that John Mark was able to continue on in his journey in serving the Lord. All of us have times when we want to give everything and we can't for some reason or another. Uh, who knows what John Mark's reason was. But whether we can be a Timothy and give everything um, for the service of the Lord or whether we sometimes fail and return, uh, God wants us to give our lives as well, just like the brothers here at the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Uh, God wants to give us to give our lives in His service. And we continue with the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared me for the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now let us confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, good Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace in your church and in the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. O Lord, from whom all good proceeds, grant us the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may always think those things that are good, and by your merciful guidance may accomplish the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in scripture and in the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee to you for comfort. Deliver us, we beseech you, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure, and grant that perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, send down on those who hold public office, especially those working to stop the spread of the coronavirus, the spirit of wisdom, charity, and justice, that with steadfast purpose they may faithfully serve in their offices to promote the well-being of all people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we're going to sing a hymn which we sang uh, just yesterday here in the chapel. I think you'll know it. It is... I can't find it. Here it is. There is Lord Jesus. Um, I can't add second voices, so the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to sing the melody line for the first and fourth verse. I'll sing the tenor in the second verse and the bass in the third verse. So that means you have to sing the melody uh, for the middle two verses. Um, sing for the whole, whole bit. There is Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature. O thou the Godhead, human son, be will I cherish, be will I honor, thou my soul's glory, joy and crown. Fair are the meadows, fair still the woodlands robed in the blooming God of spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus is purer, who makes a troubled heart to sing. There is the sunshine, there is still the moonlight, and there the twinkling, twinkling starry hosts. Jesus shines brighter, Jesus shines purer than 
and all the angels and candles, all fairest beauty, heavenly and earthly, wondrous riches us is found in thee. None can be Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray. Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us the grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. And in our prayers, we also pray for the sick and the suffering. We pray for Vera, for Jane, for Doug. We pray for your mercy upon them and your healing grace. We also pray for peace in Ukraine and all places of the world that do not know peace at this time. We pray, O oh Lord, that the hearts of leaders around the world may be turned to peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today we pray for all the brothers of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. We pray for their superior, Brother James Kester, for Brother Luke Dightley, Brother Keith Nelson, Brother Jonathan Maury, Brother David Ryhoff, Brother Curtis Almquist, Brother Jeffrey Tristram, Brother Jim Woodrum, Brother Nicholas Bartoli, Brother Lucas Hall, who will make his uh, profession uh, on Saturday, Brother Sean Glenn, Brother Jack Crawley, Brother Todd Black, Brother Michael Hargrove, and for their postulate, Lane Wilson. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in evening prayer today from the uh, Society of St. John the Evangelist Garden. Uh, I hope you could hear me uh, with the traffic noise from Memorial Drive. It's a little bit loud, but I hope that you can hear me or at least read the words. Uh, blessings to you and a good night's sleep.